Hello my friends, I'm Eric and it's Witcher Wednesday so it's time to return to with the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt on Deathmarch with all the DLC and so on and see where we go next. Okay, so let's resume. We left off uh, having uh, fought, uh, fought our way out of a ship. Um, we didn't really fight our way out of the ship. Uh, this dude showed up. Who I'm very suspicious about. Uh, I don't know about him. <clears throat> I struggled mightily against... Uh, there was a, a big, big, big toad last time around that I struggled against and uh, eventually triumphed. But man, did that take time. Let's go check this out first before we... Uh, before we get out of here since we're... Yeah, since we are here anyways. Mm. And now, <laughs> while, while captured on the ship, there was this dude, Master Mirror, apparently. Uh, Gaunter Odim. Uh, it says Master Mirror here. He introduced himself as Gaunter Odim. And like, I am... Ouch. Um... I think he might be Satan, <laughs> the devil, you know, he, 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 like, the way he showed up, the way he disappeared, like, he is, he's not just a mage, there is no way, he must be something else. Uh, and also, he wants to, he, he, he offered, he offered to make a deal with us. Feels like this is loud. I'm gonna turn it down a little. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> he offered to make us a deal uh, in order to, like, spring us from the ship, and we accepted. And then he wanted. Now he wants to meet us at midnight uh, at a crossroads. Like that. That's 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 not good. But you know. Uh, crossroads, demon deals. There is, like... Yeah. There is no way he's on the up and up, is what I'm saying. You did good, Geralt. Hey, red mutagen. Greetings. Greetings. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Hmm. Okay. Goodbye. This is very convenient for me because now I got a fast travel and we can get the heck out of here. Ooh, quest. I will. You go your way. What's the problem? Oh, nothing. On your way now, good man. Shut it, got out. He could help. Little Red's band means to attack the village. Want revenge on Bertram. We haven't much, but we're willing to pay if you defend us. Who's Little Red? 
Riding Hood? She fornicates <laughs> with wolves. <laughs> oh, it is Little Red Riding Hood. Her okay. mitts, a she beast in human husk. Though some call her a great beauty. She leads a pack of deserters, two dregs from different armies. The kind what knows killing and plundering well. Why does this band want revenge on you of all people? Because. Because I ratted on them to the witch hunters. Witch hunters oh, care yeah, about you shouldn't do that. Since when? Little Red <laughs> was terrorizing our village. We had none to defend us. Finally, Bertram went by the hunters, asked them. So the hunters went after him. We had a spell of peace, but now Little Red's learnt of it all. Wants to kill Bertram. He's done for if you don't help. He'll help. Fine. I'll handle the bandits. Go to your homes, bar the doors. Beware of them, Witcher. They're the dangerous type, truly. Noted. Oh, you're a fierce one. But you fairness in your eyes. Okay, one moment. Oh. Okay, let's resume. Let's see if we can take care of this first. Little re oh, low 15. Holy crap. Wait for dusk. Okay. And it's dusk. Around there. Oh, Witcher, did the villagers hire you? Yes, indeed. Whatever you're planning, plans got to change. I can't, won't, let you hurt these people. I'm not here to hurt anyone except that scoundrel Bertram. Came to me on Beckoned a half year back. Said he betrayed he was worth looting for a share in the takings, of course. But sometime on, mm. the bugger grew greedy. He wanted more. I refused. That's when he set the witch hunters on us. Lost half me men because of him. Now step aside, Witcher. This ain't your affair. We want Bertram, no one else. Give my word. Oh no. Oh no, what do I pick? <laughs> because who's telling the truth? I can't believe her. Don't get in your way. Do what you gotta. Right decision, Witcher. See? Quick and painless. That's for you. For understanding. Let's go, gents! I don't know, man. Okay, let's wait until midnight and talk to the devil. I knew you'd come. You a soothsayer? It matters little who I am. Your escape, I made it possible. <laughs> Previously, Yennefer, you found her thanks to me, so you feel you owe me. Memento you gave me. Pretty effective reminder. That is its purpose. Incidentally, I find it quite funny how even the most rotten scoundrels have this inner compunction to repay debts of gratitude. Humans? Elves, dwarves, all races. You really must explain that to me. Yes. Maybe I will. Now, tell me, how'd you manage with your theories? Thanks for your help, really. But you could have chosen more conventional means. Given me the key to my cell, for instance. Oh my, far too simple. I dislike simple solutions. Do you like them? 
doubt we're here to talk about my preferences. True. You move in I mysterious ways? I'll tell you about an individual of interest to us both. It's about a man, worse than most. A vulgar, despicable man with a heart of stone. Hey, a that's the name of the, of the DLC. His debts. Really think this will interest me? Any reason why? He's wronged you as well. His name is Olgierd von Everick. Hmm. Yeah, what did he do to you? Before I reveal this, I'd like to make one thing very clear. Olgierd von Everick did willfully and maliciously conspire to cause you to kill a man who might have been cured. Had I not intervened, you would have lost your head for this. Do you know why he did it? Because he's a degenerate monster in human flesh who feeds on the pain and suffering of others. Well, you clearly don't like him. What did he do to you? He and I made a pact. A pact under which I called on my many talents and associates to give him what he desired. <laughs> now the time's come to pay. Yet, he shirks his obligation. Need me to collect a debt? I'm not some hired muscle. Muscle Aren't what? what this you, but you are, aren't you? You're so you're a mercenary. And clever. You're hired muscle. Who fears no dare. Well, I mean, someone like you. Pure flattery, that. Of course it is. You're not mindless hired muscle, but you are hired muscle. Merchant. But make no mistake, I have many interesting wares on offer. Wares like surfeit, abundance for the body and soul. You will lack neither food nor drink. As a witcher, you might desire weapons supreme. I can offer you those you dreamt of. Your body, agile as never before. Your mind, faster than lightning. Romantic prowess to charm all womankind. But above all, I offer a great, a true adventure. An experience like no other, the fate of only the chosen few. Sure sounds generous. I don't have for <laughs> one small matter. Won't want anything else from me? Just one. Honesty. Yeah, that's no problem. What did you do for old Geard? Break him out of a cell too? In some sense, yes. I remember that day quite well. It was a light drizzle, yet the cold tore right through you. Olgi had appeared at the break of dawn, gaunt as a rail, his shirt mothy, seemed to have naught but the sword at his side. It quite pained me to look at him. He asked for help, and help I gave. Made him a rich man, successful, esteemed. He is who he is today, thanks only to me. And yet afterwards, he turned his back, shunned me. Sends me off when I dare ask for payment. Even sicked his hounds on me once. He's thus left me no option but to invoke the terms of our pact. And that is where you come in. Huh. How much does he owe you? <laughs> Gentlemen, don't discuss coin. Need to yeah, it's not a matter of coin, it's a matter of soul. Dirty. How much? A million crowns? Two million? I'm no usurer to lend coin for interest. No. What Olgierd owes me is far more personal than shiny things that clink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as I regret it. Oh, good lord. I must respect his privacy. What about you? Call yourself a man of many talents? Can't you take care of this? Therein lies the catch. Our pact states that before I can collect my due, I must yet fulfill three wishes for Von Everick, but I cannot fulfill them myself directly, making use instead of a, mm, how shall I put it, a proxy. Mm -hmm. So what you need's a sucker. What I need is an ally, and something tells me I shall find none better than you. What do you expect me to do? To start with, join me in paying Von Everick a visit. Then, well, then we shall improvise. I believe, okay. however, that all will end well. And once it does, 
We three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. Right. Specifics now. Thought Orgeard had three wishes, requests, whatever. Uh, he does. He may ask three things of us. Yet, we won't know what they are until we see him. <laughs> yeah, I don't like this. It seems a little shady. <laughs> your help, your pact with Olgeard, his three requests. Think it over. I agree, you've no a priori reason to trust me. But, as it happens, I was in the right place at the right time to help you. And it's also the case that the same man has wronged us both. To my mind, those are reasons to work together. To my mind, not so much. Come with me to see Olgierd. You shall see he's a vile, dishonorable man who treats the lives of all folk like playthings, as he treated yours when he sent you to find the Frog Prince. I mean, you can't really say no here, can you? If you do, then the story is kind of over, right? Fine. I'll go see Olgierd with you, but no promises. That is all I ask. Now remove the damn mark. Naturally. Just as soon as you complete your task. Go. You will not regret it. We shall meet there. I have a matter to attend to along the way. Another debt to collect? Perhaps. I don't like it. <laughs> Let's see. Is there anything useful I can do? Eh, I don't know, man. I need, yeah, I need five more. So let's just level that up, I guess. Hmm. I have cleared out a lot of points of interest here. So many questions. Is this the only rune right? I wonder. I don't recall seeing anyone else anywhere else. Hmm. I've seen like the uh, the I mean there's herbalists that are like a bit uh, different, but like rune right is uh, the only one I think. Anyways, let's uh, let's go where we need to. Oh, it's on fire now. That's not good. Well, what about the people who lived here? The witch you with a stick up his ass. What's new? Got a growth on your platter there. You catch some kind of a theory pox. Could say so. Manners burning, you noticed? That? All right. You know how it is. Feast drags home with plenty of dancing, merrymaking, rough play. <laughs> we got a bit carried away, truth be told. Plain to see. We're yeah. all geared. Damned if I. <laughs> what about the people who live there? Somewhere hereabouts. No! Please! I beg you! Shut your trap! <laughs> Let me go! Leave me be! Shut it! I ain't with you! Drag with you! Fuck beside you! 
Haven't you killed me now? I'm one of yours! You might have been, but not no more you ain't. What's he guilty of? What the fuck's it to you? Not your concern, mate. Tell you what's gonna happen Don't now. push me. I'll ask again, polite-like, and you'll answer just as politely. And if I don't? Then I'll get angry, stop talking, and slaughter you all like swine. So what'll it be? Am I gonna <laughs> hear why you wanna take his head, or not? <laughs> Aren't you a lonely <laughs> prick up the ass? Atom and said to kill him! Got your answer, happy? Now piss off, we've work to do. Wait, I know Ogeard wants him dead. Still don't know why, though. Just what the fuck is it to you, anyhow? Nothing really, just curious. Mm hmm. I am really curious. Have violated our chivalric code. Just one penalty for that death. What is this row? Are you not done with it? My ears wither from the screams. Ah, Geralt, as you've returned, might I assume you've cleared the sewers? Or have you not been there? You killed my father! Oh, no. You lie! What are I'm you? Fine. That man killed him. Alone. Unbeknownst to me. Out of fury, for your father refused us hospitality. For this willful violation of the chivalry code, he was summarily <laughs> executed himself. Anything else I might do for you? Take her away. Yeah, <laughs> you take care of this. Now, where were we? <laughs> this is this is really interesting. Really intriguing. Really necessary, that whole show. Ah, show? Come now. A man must display some madness from time to time. Helps him feel alive. Dare say you know what I mean. Judging by the mark on your face. You're immortal? Depends on your understanding of the term. Indeed, I cannot be killed. But it's not Decapitation so often much. works, though. Not dying does not mean eternally living your life to the full. So it's a curse? A curse? No, wouldn't call it that. I'll put it this way. You must be careful what you wish for, lest you wish be granted. For there are consequences. Not sure I follow. You know very little could hurt you. So you take wild risks. Chase extreme sensations. There comes a point you've done it all. It all seems boring and monotonous. Mm, the trick yeah. is to plough through that moment. Go further. Reach beyond what's known as possible. You know what this is? I cannot be certain. But I've my suspicions. That's a dangerous man you've chosen to deal with, Witcher. Killed the beast in the sewers. Congratulations are in order then. Your reward. You're also welcome to take what you wish from the manor house. If anything left of char, that is. Was it a tough fight? I sliced its gut open, and it turned into a man. You know that would happen? Of course he did. He'd never have dragged you into this elsewise. Gone to old Dean. Come to cast aspersions? No. I've come to collect a debt. You know, you first must grant you three requests by proxy. I present to you my champion, Geralt of Rivia. That true? You know the Toad was a cursed prince? He didn't just know. He brought about the curse himself. Did he not mention that bit? Well then, allow me to tell it. Quite the gripping story. Olgierd once loved a beautiful maiden named Iris. 
Yet, her parents chose to offer her hand to the Crown Prince of Ophir. Olgir grew to hate the poor sot. At first, he wished to kill him, then decided this would be too simple. So, instead, he condemned the prince to a base life in a toad's bloated corpus. Yet he grew bored of watching him suffer and decided to end it. By your hand. Remind me, Odin, who is to fulfill my last three requests? My assistant, Geralt. Then be gone. I don't wish to look at your face any longer than I must. <laughs> the tension here. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that it's rainy and storming and while the uh, house is on fire the contrast this thing between you and Master Mirror, your quarrel, really rather not get involved. You already are, I fear. He did something for you. Now you've a debt to repay. Am I right? Yes. Well, then you'll not free yourself of him till you've paid it back. But never worry. I shall devise tasks so impossible you will never complete them. Not if you go mad trying. But try your best, mm. and your debt shall be absolved. Well, I shall live in peace until oh. Mr. Mirror finds another aide de camp. Oh, I see. Well, I think you underestimate me. That true? You turn him into a toad? Perhaps. Or perhaps the Afiri Dofa ate something that disagreed with him. You never know with their cuisine. Never heard of food that turns men into monsters. Then perhaps it was something he drank. Hmm. Ah. Uh. I cast the curse. Revenge for a deep disappointment. I was another man then. Let rage get the better of me and hollered the words without ever thinking they could possibly come true. It sounds so reasonable, but I, I don't buy it. You told me the truth about the toad. Having a bit of fun at my expense. I simply wanted the beast dead. I could not know you would respond to the notice. Pure coincidence. Yeah, I must admit, when you, a witcher, answered the call, I thought it right. It's what you lot are trained to do. Might have been able to lift the curse. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Then again, why bother? He was a human being. That bloody Ethereum mutt was no human. His kind does not deserve to live. You sound kind of racist, actually. Yes, I gotta pop the question directly. What do I need to do for you? Hmm. Let me think. We're currently without a roof over our heads. Perhaps we should start with that. Bring me the house of Maximilian Bosodi. His house? So surprised. <laughs> but why? I must live somewhere, mustn't I? What's the meaning of this? Second leave of your senses. You mean to mount a filthy horse? Out to my sight, wretch! Know what Vladimir would do to you if he saw? Aye. Vladimir. My brother. There were times he himself stank like foot wrappings three days old. But his mount always looked fit for a parade. Oh, none rivaled Vladimir at feasting, carousing. Sadly, he's been celebrating less of late. You must find him. And show him the time of his life. My second request. Time seems easy enough. He's dead? And the third? Third? Complete those two. Then we shall speak of the third. Any hints? Where I should go? How I might start? You must be mad. I've no intention to make things easier for you. Okay. Once I'm done with those two, where will I find you? I cannot know, as my band has planned some diversions. But let us say at the Alchemy Inn, in Oxenfurt. Fine. Okay. See you there. The brother shouldn't be too hard, but the house. 
How am I supposed to bring him a house? Actually, the opposite. I wouldn't worry about the house. The brother will be the tough bit. You waited for me. Nice of you. I could hardly abandon my proxy to the whims of fate. Thought I have to fulfill Olgierd's wishes myself. So states the contract. Yet, nowhere does it forbid me from providing help. And something tells me... It's just the, the vibe of this just feels so wrong. Everything about it just feels... Uh, yeah, it just feels wrong. Olgierd's brother. Why do you think he'll be tough? I'm afraid he's dead. Has been for years. Uh, never agreed to necromancy. Necromancy is hardly your only option for reviving a soul. An old-fashioned ritual, a blood summoning. That's what you need. That's like choosing between pestilence and the plague. Besides, I need the blood of the summoned. Blood? True. Of the summoned? Not necessarily. Here. Where do you get this? Geralt, 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 aren't you the curious one? <laughs> Assume it to be von every blood and get on with it. How did you know we needed it? How did you Where, I find where did you get it? Vladimir? Geralt, I cannot do everything for you. Use your head. The von Evericks are well known in these parts. You must have met someone who's heard of the family. The charming redhead, for instance. The medic. You know the one. Charlie. What's <laughs> Yeah, no I'm supposed to bring him that. Ooh, that chick, I guess. Sodi I know of around here runs an auction house in Oxenfurt. Heard of it. My swords almost got auctioned off there once. Auction was held in Novigrad, though it was a while past. They must have relocated. You just might get an opportunity to ask them why. Fine, I'll go there. Then what? How should I know? Perhaps you'll get inspired once you're there. Oh, and take plenty of coin. I have a feeling it could come in handy. Okay. Uh, guess it's high time I got to work. A bit more enthusiasm, Witcher. You know, you just might enjoy yourself. Yay. Yeah, Can't might. Wait. Say I need help. Where'll I find you? I shall find you. And he vanished. Good luck, Geralt. Yeah, let's go talk to Shani. I've tested the slime samples. I believe I'll be able to brew an antidote. Good. A pox and an army can prove more ravaging than even their fiercest foe. Your service will be recognized. How? Will I get a toad-shaped medal? The army's not got any medal like that. Idiot. <laughs> Geralt? Are you all right? What's that on your face? Long story. <clears throat> We're conducting important it's business. the mark of the beast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Right. I'll get to work on the antidote. Shouldn't take long. Ooh. Tasty number, that medic. Not like a scholar at all. Interesting. Curious to know, what do scholars look like to your mind? All that reading's hard on the eyes, right? So they wear spectacles. <laughs> oh, aye. Thick ones, propped on wrinkled noses, and their clothing frumpy at best. Who've they got to dress up for? The books? That's Silly people. Really. But if I were you, I'd make sure no medic ever overhears you. Huh? Why's that? Because when you get caught in a battle, she might just refuse to stitch you back up. 
You're a lucky bastard, witch, yeah. We've seen her making eyes at you. Not like she looks at us. Isn't that right? Admit it. You fancy it too, eh? Mm, yeah, I mean, she's It'd good looking. It'd a blind man to shrug and turn away. Too true. Meantime, you witches have got especially sharp senses. <laughs> Here's the medicine. It's a strong solution, so careful with the dosage. Each patient gets exactly two drops after meals, three times a day. At the most, in three, four days, the infection should recede. You, mm, in Redania, should have probably was... written down the dosage. Because <laughs> they're probably going to get it wrong. Serving the Redanian cause now? I serve individuals. I treat them. That they're Redanians is coincidental. I'd help Nilfgaardians as well were I in a position to. Kedwenis, Edernian, Elves, Dwarves, Halflings, the same. Come on, Geralt. You know me. Aside from the incident in the sewers, we last saw each other. Hmm, must have been in Bezima. Uh, yes. Yes. When it was ravaged by the Catriona. Feels like a century ago. Where have you been? What have you been doing since? Well, I left Vizima and returned to Oxenfurt, proceeded to finish my doctorate, and then opened a practice. Shortly thereafter, war broke out, and I was press ganged into the Redanian Medical Corps. So what now? Radovid's dead. Yeah, he is. But the war's not over yet. The chaos continues. I'm still very much needed. Though I can't complain. At least I live at home now, and I treat the ill, as is my calling. Though I must always be ready, for at any time the Redanians might knock with some painfully urgent assignment. Yeah, to their minds. I need your help this time. Mm, I'd guess this wasn't a social call. All right, tell me what you need. Is it at all related to that mark on your face? Ah, and you must tell me what happened in the sewers. Where do I start? All right. Monster in the sewers turned out to be a giant toad, and this toad was actually a prince, and Ophiri wanted that. Hmm, and I'm a Kaviri duchess. It's the truth. That. Uncolored, I swear. When I killed the toad, some Ophiri soldiers led by a maid showed up, captured me. Man named Gontaro Dim freed me. Who's this? <laughs> Uh, um, hmm. Could be a mage, a demon, or a djinn. You don't know? He's very powerful. That's all I need to know. He's he something. He's not someone. He's now something. He me to fulfill some nobleman's wishes in return. First one's to summon the ghost of his brother, then show him the time of his life. Amuse a ghost? How do you intend to do that? Not my chief concern at the moment. Gotta find his grave and summon him first, then we'll see. But that's necromancy. It's extraordinarily risky and involves higher magic. Odim told me how to do it. No sorceress or necromancy involved. Gave me this. Concoction that summons ghosts. I'll need a sensor too. Well, that can be arranged. They keep one in a storehouse at the academy. I can fetch it for you. Thanks. Don't mention it. But I still don't like this. No, me neither. <laughs> ah, yeah, there's... Neither do I, but I don't really have any... <laughs> it existed as an option. ...summon that ghost. I understand. Whose ghost is it? Olgierd von Everek's brother. Von Everek? Hmm. In my third year at Oxenfurt, we had to choose an elective. My options were Pearls of Wisdom from the Hierarchs, or... Famous Redanian dynasties. And you picked the famous picked dynasties. The Here it is. Von Igrid, Von Estiken, Von Everek. Hmm. It says Algird had a brother named Vladimir. 
He lies in the family crypt near their manor. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. I'm off. <sighs> the crypt's described as quite a work of art. I'd love to see it. Why don't I bring the sensor? We can meet at the entrance. Yeah, sure. No, I'm not one to turn down company. If we run into a dragon of sorts. Oh, we're fine. How dare you? How dare you, game? Whoa, 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 whoa. Phew, we survived. <laughs> side of you <laughs> she what was bored <laughs> how do I put this your romantic side used to seeing you surrounded by bandages and medicine vials often covered in blood well that's because you usually come round while I'm at work off duty now waiting for you weaving a garland for the wedding what wedding a wedding whose a dear friends from the Academy Speaking of which, would you go with me? Sure. Sure, why not? Wonderful. So, it's a date. Remember to bring the sensor? Of course. Some soldiers nearly caught me slipping it into my satchel. Wasn't sure what you needed it for. So I also took a mix of amber, aniseed, and juniper. All rather smoky when lit. Thanks. Might come in handy. Shall we? Indeed we shall. Let's go. The tome was spot on. This is impressive. Yeah, too bad it's falling apart. The family hit on hard times. No coin to splurge on such luxuries. Ooh, that looks just a little too creepy for me. Don't you have mean? to come if you don't want. Wait here. I like that idea. If there's any trouble, just yell. This is no crypt. It's a full-blown mausoleum. Uh, we're gonna do this just because I can. Hey, that should be a couple of crowns. Okay, going there later, I guess. Oh, here we go. Race.
attack my own. Surprises? Sure hope so. Should look around. Yeah, I'm about to. Old tombstone. Inscription's almost worn off completely. Doesn't look like it. Look, looks like it was very clear. Kest... Kestitis? Not who I'm looking for. Eulalia von Everek died in 1250. Votive fire, in honor of the dead, old custom. Alexei, aged 19, beloved son and brother. That's not the one we're after. Honoratina, loving wife of Kestatis, died in 1257. that actually let's go check it out hey a key uh, I don't like this Spiders? Well, So this is pointless, this is just uh Okay. It was just a detour. I think you did I check every one in here? I probably didn't, it's probably hmm. this one right. Probably shouldn't touch that. <laughs> probably shouldn't. Vladimir von Everek, son of Bohumil and Christina. There you are. Now for the ritual. Gotta spread the incense throughout the crypt. Every room. Life and death. Fire and blood. Arise from the dust. 
Ye whose blood I have brought. <sighs> I don't know about this. Arise as a friend, for I am no foe. Arise from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. Return, and walk midst the living, ye who hath departed. Arise from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. Life and death, fire and blood. Time to light the votive fire. <laughs> Fire and blood, life and death, I summon ye whose blood I have brought. Fire and blood, life and death. You have summoned me, stranger. Why? Name's Geralt. Came to wake the ghost of Vladimir von Everek. Who you are, and why you've come matter little. For you'll not leave this place alive. Are you oh, of God's course ghost? I will. Who asks after my grandson? It matters not, Honoratina. What I wonder is how this mortal obtained the family's blood. For von Everick's rise only for von Everick blood. True. Yet to my knowledge, only one of our line yet lives. Olgird. Then we converse with the man who spilled the blood of your grandson, Kestetis. Mean none of you are Vladimir? It's Olgird, his brother, who sent me. You will meet Vlad soon enough. Yet Olgird, you will never see again. You die here, flashback! Kill him, Von Everett. Ah, Lord. For all you guys are already freaking dead. Why do I have to kill you again? Why can't I attack? <sighs> my, my! Ordinary horse sons, those von Emmerichs, eh? Who are you? Yes, Vormir. The rogue you seek. Vladimir von Everick. Brother to Olgird. Oh, forgot I cannot even scratch my stones. Though in point of fact, they've not itched much since I died. Didn't want to fight your family. They started it. I'm dead, not blind. I preferred to see how you'd handle those snobby pricks. And Grandmum too. Besides, what harm could you do them? They're dead as it is. Yeah, true. <laughs> it's not like they can. It's not like you can kill dead people. Now tell me how you came into Old Gird's blood. If you hurt him, I fear I shall have to kill you. Got it from a mutual acquaintance of mine and Old Gird's. I'm here on a business. I'm a swithing corpse. With no interest in important matters, yours or any other buggers. The sole thing I miss is feasting, corporal diversion, so to speak. But alas. Get a lot of visitors? At times, not often. For when someone does drop by, the whole band comes out to play. Fun loving family. Yeah, indeed. True. We're famed for our love of revelry and rumbles. We von Evericks have brawled and raided for generations. It's like they're Skelligers. <laughs> Naturally, with raids comes loot. So we always had the means to celebrate 
right lavishly. Towards the end of my life was when things went sour. There but no point poking at old wounds. Just days before I died, my brother claimed he'd found a way to dig us out, restore our state. Yeah, and only cost your life. That's probably why Vladimir is dead. Because of the deal that How is the old rogue? All geared made. He, what I wouldn't give to ride by his side again. No chance of that happening. Could experience something else though. Something a corpse should find interesting. Interesting? Out with it. What do you have in mind? Don't mean to pry, but just a little curious how you died. Bah! No need to be shy. Folk love such stories. I'd love this one too, were it not to end with my death. So how did it happen? On raids, it was our custom to storm the alderman's hut and then order the local clods to bring us kegs of spirit and provide willing wenches to squeeze and churn about. Willing, yeah, I don't know about that. An ambush. Outmanned five to one. We were overwhelmed. They killed me, crushed my skull like an eggshell between an upturned oak table and the stone floor. Listen, feels like I should know all geared better. Tell me something about him. Oh, a fantastic chap. A true cavalier. You won't find another like him in all Redania. The best there is for a drink or a brawl. We were pups when we started riding out on raids. Wet mm. behind the ears. Borderland villagers shat their trousers at the very sound of the word Olgeard. I was his second in command, leading a band of rogues who'd ride through fire for us. Sound like common bandits. Any difference? Us? Bandits? Watch your words. True, <laughs> yeah, that some of our swordsmen <laughs> were mindless brawlers, but not Olgeard. The truth hurts, I guess. Always curious, took an interest in all things. He devoured books, adored paintings, and loved the most beautiful maid in the world. Yeah, but she couldn't be, he couldn't have her. Listen, was one to another. Gave me a job. Odd as it may sound, I need to show you the time of your life. Is that so? Now that, sir, is a brother. I've been dead for years, yet he still looks after me. After my spirits. Are we gonna fight? Maybe? How Maybe much I'll, time do we that have? That might be fun for him. I think one night should do the trick. Splendid. Wait just a moment while I hoist my saber and... What the blistering devils! You're a ghost. Can't grab things. Ah, oh, I keep forgetting. But how am I to revel and rock and fuck? Can't lift a tankard to my lips. Can't wield a saber. Can't squeeze a wench as we dance a jig. Guess you'll have to do without. Let's go. Maybe possession? It's not gonna work if he can't I go nowhere. If he can't have fun. You're to see I enjoy myself, correct? Well, then think of a way to make it possible. How? Revive my flesh. No can do. Besides, body's probably decomposed. Then bloody come up with another way. I'll not go anywhere in this state. <sighs> it needs Yeah, there we go. Guess I could bring someone here, and you. You could mm, borrow their body just for the night. You wish me to possess someone? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Say I agree. Whose body would I inhabit? Dunno. One of Olgird's men, maybe? Or a peasant who'd agree to do it for coin? Oh, no, no, no. I shan't crawl into the skin of some unwashed bandit. I mean, Shani is here. Swineherd. I've a better idea. Oh no, not gonna happen. Oh yes, 
Yes, it so it's going to be Geralt. But do I get to control it? Geralt, wake up. Open your eyes. Oh no, Shawnee. Death was a small price to pay to lie in a lap so lovely. And so near the wonders concealed a bit higher. Have you gone mad? <laughs> Kinda, yeah. Yes, as soon as I laid eyes on you, promise to stay and stroke my chin, and I shall spend the rest of eternity in a hound's body, trotting along by your well-turned calves. <sighs> Geralt? What's happened to you? Geralt? I'm Vladimir. What? Blast. Fine, fine, give me a moment. Yeah, definitely don't like being possessed. You'd not have fainted had you not resisted so fiercely. Geralt, care to explain what's going on here? Sorry about that, Shani. That wasn't me. So who was it? Me. Shut up. I didn't say anything. Oh, so she can't talking to you. Yeah, she who can't see him. Then? Well, to him, to Vladimir. Geralt, there's no one else here. Seems your lovely maiden friend can neither see nor hear me. Hmm. There's potential in that. Yes. Don't have if you don't ground. harass people, please. And I needn't do a thing save have the time of my life, which is exactly what I aim to do. You're testing my patience. As you are mine. Can you please explain what's going on here? Oh, fiery. Temperament matches the drapes. Listen, <laughs> I'm supposed to show oh. Vladimir von Everek the time of his life. Turned out, he's a ghost. So, willing or not, I gotta lend him my body. Wait a minute. Are you saying you're possessed? Not at the moment. Just now he's standing next to me, coyly grinning at you. But off and on, he'll enter my body. So anything I say or do will actually be him, his mind, his intent. Yeah, run, Johnny. What if I want to talk to you, not him? <sighs> well, she should approach me and ask me to jump out for a bit. Just come up and ask him to leave for a while. I see. Splendid! Right then, Sugar Plum. What say you we leave this dank crypt? There's a charming grove nearby where kisses taste sweeter than anywhere else in the world. I take it you're a Vladimir. <laughs> Doesn't seem like I'll have trouble telling you apart from Geralt. No, this Vladimir's a... horny devil. My sentiments exactly. Between you and me, this Witcher fellow is an awful bore. <laughs> Only sometimes. Yeah, sometimes I, he is. Seems we're kindred spirits. So, off to the nearest hedgerow. I'm afraid I have to turn you down, dear ghost. A shame. In that case, point me to the nearest brothel. I've got a better idea. Just before Geralt entered the crypt to summon you, I invited him to my friend's wedding. Good heavens. That's damn good luck. No better dancer in all Redania than Vladimir von Everek. My ginger muffin. With me, you shall enjoy an evening to top all others. <laughs> it just, this just sounds so incredibly wrong. We'll meet at the temple. <laughs> oh, I don't like the sound of that. Temple? Why not? Is it a ghost? I'm fond of temple, see. When alive, I'd only set foot in one to loot it. And in death, I find I despise them all the more. Could we not meet after the ceremony, go straight to the feast? Uh, all right. Seems we've no other option. Splendid. <laughs> then I shall see you at the wedding manor. Oh, so a night of debauchery. I'm gonna have to send your stuff, aren't I? A man could lose his head for a lass like that. And that comes from none other than Vladimir von Everick, famed for his taste in women. 
So tell me, honestly now, man to ghost, are you her paramour? No. For if so, you have my word, I shall keep my oh. distance. But if not, then... <laughs> The haylofts we shall devastate together. Let's say we were more than friends once upon a time. But no more. <laughs> you tried to hide it, but I smell the tryst. I know a thing or two about men, you see. A shame, though. I'd have satisfied her well. But no cavalier would rut in another's garden. So, Witcher. Time for the wedding? I might have Let's go. Gotten, gotten away with it. Onward! I'll be right behind you. This whole witch's life. Okay. You're being weird. Signs. I'd like to try one. What signs? Your Witcher signs. Never done it. Interesting. There you go. Rather not waste any time. Till the stroke of midnight. What I would rob. What's up, puppy? Let's see. Farm where the uh, Brunwich. All oh, right, it's over here. That's one that's burnt down. Uh, I guess it's we're what just matters. gonna. Let's do this because it looks like Geralt is hold holding his sword while not having anything in his hands. Go, go! It's very bright. Bloody fine mount. Good stance. Powerful rub. Stable with us. Well, well. See, you know your horses. I should say so. My two greatest passions in life mares and maidens. <laughs> Spooking my horse. Very bright. Like ghosts. Very bright. Can you please go away, cat? I don't want to burn up. Whenever and I got up to mischief, we'd uh, hide out in there. Once, uh, we snuck off with some moonshine. There we go. Move it. Old cocksucker Yaramir caught us. <laughs> ah, those were the days. No, Geralt. I'm just gonna Come on this. Now. Get off. Looks very nice. Very fecund. Never yet. We need to wait. This is very romantic. Fuck off. <laughs> okay. Behold. Wars have started over uglier wenches. Well, raids have been undertaken at least. True, she looks lovely. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, hold! You need to go in wearing that. Yes, I mean, it looks good. Have you seen how she's dressed? I'll not parade at that jewel side in a rank tunic. You need a robe. One daren't attend a wedding in anything less. Don't happen to have a rope. Could have said this earlier. What do you mean? What about that? Oh no, we're not gonna steal. Come now, we're merely borrowing. Yeah, he's gonna get what he wants, of course, but he, because he can possess. Ah, this'll do wonderfully.
Perfect fit. It feels tailor-made. Now, for shoes. One must wear shoes to a wedding. No. And we must be neat. No. Don't. May they draw and quarter me if I've ever seen a lovelier lass. Nothing left of you to draw and quarter, alas. Doe eyes, a swan's soft supple neck, and a waist so slim you could grip it one-handed. You're actually quite amusing this way. Yeah, he's quite the charmer. Be assured, you'll like me even better when you come to know me more intimately. How intimately? Enough to get a sense of my assets, my dear. Trust me, they're nothing it just to scoff at. Clean shaven just looks wrong. May I please speak <laughs> to Geralt for a moment? Whatever for. This evening is about my pleasure, not his. Just for a moment. Then you can jump right back in. Be quick. I'll not stand here doing naught. I'm to enjoy myself. Geralt, I'm about to introduce you to the newlyweds. Please make sure your friend doesn't embarrass me. I can't make him do anything. All that nonsense is his. I feel like an ass saying it. I liked some of that nonsense. What, for example? It would do you good to be more relaxed sometimes. Relaxed? He... So you think I'm uptight? You what are kind of uptight, dude. It would be nice <laughs> from time to time if you could sit back and enjoy life. Instead of going around solving everyone's problems. But what does... <sighs> I don't understand. Of course you don't. You're as dense as year-old hardtack. Luckily, you've got me. Okay, we'll talk let's later. Let's go to this wedding. The sooner the ghost has his fun, the sooner this will be over. Finally, something that's not utter tripe. We shall dance till the break of dawn. You get till midnight and not a second longer. That's not enough. I shan't even get properly soused by midnight, let alone... Make an effort. I'm sure you'll manage. You get to frolic and carouse till midnight. That's our deal. Then there's the capping. Then you go back where you came from. So be it. <laughs> and then the hands on the hips. <laughs> oh, this is very entertaining. Ah, hello world, I'm back. I'll be damned. A proper wedding. Overladen tables, plenty of worthy drinking companions, and a swarm of fair maids. But none compare to you, my dear Rhubarb. <laughs> Oh, good lord, he overdoes it. Beware of the dog, Shani. Judging by the size of its house, the muck must be big as a horse. Uh, thanks for your concern, but the dog has oh, to Okay, I gotta they take up, yeah. They let a eater like that run free? Have the wedding guests been warned? Seems we are indeed in for a cracking good time. What a lovely Rowan. I remember making necklaces of the fruit when I was a child. Ah, the berries make for splendid hooch. Olgerd and I brewed in our teething years. Teething years? I shall introduce you to the no. newlyweds now. Try to behave. For you, my Rowan battle, I'd do anything. Okay, uh, I'll be right back. I have to take the dog out for a pee. Come. Okay, Time to I'm back. And be greeted. Yes, indeed. Let's party. Time to say hello. Be nice now. Once more, all the best in your new life. Thank you. It's us now. Dearies, blessings rain down upon you. May you live in health and happiness. 
Harmony and love forever last betwixt you. Thank you, from the bottom of our hearts. Now go, enjoy the feast. Our turn. Let's see how you do My here. My dear friend Aldona and her chosen one, Jonas. It's an honor. The sun shine brightly on this new path in your lives. I am Vla. Uh, this is my friend of yesteryear, Geralt of Rivia. Yes, tis I, Geralt, a witcher. Heartfelt thanks for your hospitality. I adore weddings, the brides especially. So free. Stop. So tasty, I could. Righto. I'm sure we'll all have some time. <laughs> don't call. <laughs> Well, fragrant might maybe okay, but don't call her tasty. As old fashioned, dowry, uh, questioning the choice. I, I don't want to. I don't want to say any of those things. Chewed the fat enough. Time's a wasting. Are you uh, expected elsewhere? Me? Ha. I simply cannot wait to sample your liquors and dance with the local matrons. Jonas and I invited more than a few lovely maidens. Perhaps one of them will catch your eye. Oh, that's for damn certain. And perhaps you will catch one of their... It'd be nice, certainly, but I shan't be terribly bothered if it's not the case. Come, let's drink. Aha, finally, a manly man's sport. No, but we, we need to be pretty. Hey, what's up? Found yourself a perch from which to survey passing bows. What do you mean? My back aches from pounding the churn, so I'm having a... And they said fire burns hotter in an old stove. If I was your age, you'd be singing a different tune. Have you squealing like a kitty cat? <laughs> what are you doing over here? from the water an old pot mayhaps his lass wears pots for shoes in case she can't find a privy you were supposed to fish out my slipper i'm at a dance now with one foot bed it is a wedding i've got to wear slippers oh look dearie i did take there muck must have sucked it deep in we'll poke your paws in there rut for it rubbish game uh, we can take care of this. We have witcher senses. What's all this then? <gasps> They're playing slip in for a slipper. Never heard of it? Never. Us gentry folk have other diversions. What's the object? Maid tosses a shoe in the water. A man's got to dive in and fish it out. And once I retrieve it? Well, your maid'll be pleased as punch, or it means you're a gallant beau, and awful handy. Is that all? No prize? Not even a kiss? That depends on the miss in question. If she wants to give you a kiss, she will, but she ain't obliged. Well, let's go. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh, there's more to come. Prime game. Shani, your slipper. I shall prove I dive to any depth for you. Observe, Shani. My eyes are glued. Seems to think it's easy, don't it?
found it. Is that the right one? Let's get all, all of them, <laughs> I guess. I think that was all of them. Yeah. Go uh, and up. There we go. Damn mucky that pond. Sank in up to my armpits. Uh, I see no amount of silk could keep you from my shoe. And all the other shoes over tossed in the lake. Always better to do a bit more and even gain naught by it than to do too little and face regret. Mm, that's <laughs> yeah. quite the theory. <laughs> yeah, what sure. Found it in practice. For instance, I can now approach the owner of any of these slippers and she will lift up her skirt and bend over to don it, of course. Ah, so generous. And clever. Just figuring that out. Mm, I believe I've earned a kiss. Well, find the owners of those shoes. One might agree. Don't be jealous, Shani. That was but a jest. I don't give a piffle about the others. Oh, well. Recognize this, Cinderella. My shoe? Mm -hmm. Now extend your supple leg and let me slide it in. That is bomb. <laughs> this dude. <laughs> uh. He's way too horny. See how quick he come up with a shoe. Nothing like a good swim. Now look, we must look, look, do look. something else. Munch some playing cards. In the mood to lighten Geralt's purse. Geralt won't mind. He's wild about cards. Yeah, let's play some Gwent. Perhaps you care to sit down to some Gwent with us. Most certainly would. You needn't ask twice, midget. No need for insults. I'm sorry. I meant no offense. Were that true? You wouldn't have called him a midget. I've apologized. What else would you have me do? Bring him flowers? I'd have you play and stop talking. Let us play, gentlefolk. What's your wager? Everything. The whole lot. I'm all in. I never knew you to be such a gambler. Well, I have like 12,000 gold or 13,000. This night, my dear. I don't think they can match that bet. <sighs> Normally we play that the losers got to wear the ass ears. I needn't care. I shan't lose. Okay. Let's see what we got. Oh, nice, nice. That works. And toss with that as well. Yeah, I guess that works. No decoys or anything. Hey, nice. Getting somewhere. Let's see, now we just need some decoys as well. Darn. Thank you. 
now he has decoys. That's not fair. Don't know what to do, rightly. Looking good, I always say. Let's hope I get, I don't know, a medic thing or. Nope. We did not. And let's go for the win, I guess. Sure, he has some scorches or something. Yeah, here it comes. He's gonna play hero cards first, right? Okay. This is, this is not good. It's not good at all. <sighs> what am I supposed to do? Good time. Like I'm fairly sure he's gonna have a he's gonna have a scorch up his sleeve. And if he does, then I'm boned. That works too, I guess. Ooh, what happens if I play that? Do they go to 8? In which case, if they go to 8, then he can wipe out everything with a Scorch. I think... for all the marbles. See what's left. Hey, hey we did it. Up, mate. Slap those asses' ears on your asses noggin. Oh, such a shame. I'd already pictured you in those ears. Quite the interesting picture, too. I know of other ways to look interesting. I could show you. <laughs> Always so suggestive. Time to drink! 
We are at a wedding. Aye, let's drink. My time's as short as you are, friends. To the Witcher and his betrothed. Hear that, Shani? My betrothed. Know what that means? It means that they don't know what they're talking about. You should act as befits the betrothed. And what's that mean? I will you, you resist. But it all ends as everyone knows it must. Ah, oh, the merriment. Good show indeed. Let's continue the ball. Ah, my kind of tune. Let's do some dancing. <laughs> In my experience, witches and dancing don't exactly mix. Today they mix like fire and oil, my love. We'll dance the barn down. <laughs> faster, faster <laughs> till we expire. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's having fun. They're in the center of attention. <laughs> and now, a special treat for our special guests. The Witcher Geralt <laughs> What are you doing here, Zaytan? Musicians, something lovely for the loving couple. At last, music for our loving embrace. Come, Shani. It's time you discovered my romantic side. Oh, you're rather good at this. Yeah, apparently, Vladimir is a man of many talents. a jig with you as its partner oh how humble you are i strive to be yet should the need arise i can strut as proud as any peacock oh, perfect combination women must love you well not to brag but call it idle curiosity but how many have you had many and not a scrub hag among them i should add Women with true class. <laughs> oh, he's a real player. Charms. It seems the music and the evening draw to a close. You know how a true dancer thanks his lovely partner. Um, not sure I do. Doing? Have you lost your mind? I no. Have my mind. It's my just heart. I mean, if you're expecting it to be Geralt, then. We must agree. You can say whatever you please, but you should keep your hands to yourself. Understood? Don't be upset, my peach. I couldn't resist. I'm not upset. Just. Next time. Don't lunge at me like that. I've had a long fast, so to speak. Hunger overwhelmed me. But yes, next time I shall ask. Shani, may I kiss you? <laughs> you are incorrigible. Yes, he is. Could I talk to Geralt for a moment? What for? He'll have nothing of interest to say. The man's a drip. Please. <sighs> Very well. See how I've reeled her in? Now don't fuck this up. Geralt, I'm curious what it's like when that ghost's inside you. Do you feel anything? Oh, she I wants to know. I feel oh, good lord. Don't have any control over what I do or say, though. Why do you ask? 
Because I wonder what it would have been like to dance with you. Just you. Well, I probably wouldn't have forced myself on you. Forced myself? It was an innocent kiss, not more. <laughs> I don't know if I should thank you or if that should make me... angry. But don't get me wrong. I've thought about doing just that a few times, but... But what? But I'm not going to talk about it with him here. We can discuss it once he's gone. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. Perhaps a bit of thanks is in order. Seems I've snared the little Robin for you. You can shut up now. What's going on now? Nothing. Never mind. Happened to see the man who announced uh. your song? Yes. He acted as though he knew me. But we've never met. I'm surprised. Who is he? Gontaro Din, Master Mirror. Wonder what he's doing here. Then perhaps you should just ask him. Yeah. He didn't show up without a reason. Need to talk to him. Consider that he might have simply been nearby and dropped it on a wing. I miss you this much. He never does anything simply, and certainly not on a whim. Bah! I was to make merry, carouse. Yet here I've stood the last five minutes, listening to you talk. I'm going back in. Ah, better. Come, Shani. The night beckons us <laughs> not to jabber it away. Uh, this is a really fun little, like, Jekyll and Hyde bit. moment the night is young come let's do something wild oh, yeah. oh, excuse me hey shawnee i'd show you how i cut a jig nimble as a leopard don't let me stop you by the way you move what charm what grace thanks Gingerbreads now put flour, honey, eggs, and spices. I beg to differ, madame. You omit the most important ingredient in gingerbread. Time. What sort of balderdash is he feeding them? Quiet. If you listen, you'll learn. Time? What do you mean, time? An ingredient? Time gives the proper consistency. Time provides that ideal crunch on the outside, the delicious moistness within. For how much of this time does it take? That you will not find in any recipe. You must surrender to your senses. Let them lead you so close to time, you touch it, let you sniff it, stroke it even. Time. Time is the key. <laughs> this dude is so fishy. Greetings. There's so much meaning to the things he I says. Introduce myself, Gaunter Odin. My, what a lovely dress! The color suits you exquisitely. Thanks. I've heard a lot about you, but no one mentioned cooking. Seem to know quite a bit about gingerbread. Quite simply, I know a lot about everything. Is that so? What do you know about me? That you were ever the worst brother. That you envied all gear from your earliest days and always wished to be just like me. Wait, you can see me? That is, me, Vladimir von Everek? Of course. Why ever wouldn't I? Because I'm in Geralt's body, the Witcher's, and... Just who would I be if the true nature of things remained hidden from me? Someone like you, meaning no one. I wouldn't want to get blood on my damsel's dress, but insult me once more and... You shan't... Yeah, you, sh you shouldn't pick a fight with this dude, like Vladimir. Like your brother in this situation, demonstrate how manly you are, but let's be honest, nothing will come of it. You're simply not him, no matter how much you wish you were. Rubbish. I never envied my brother. Of course you did. He was a shining role model. 
All Geared ran faster, shot truer, lifted greater weights. All Geared learned to read first, although you tried your damnedest to beat him. As you grew up, he had his pick of girls, whereas you made do with the leftovers. I apologize, Shawnee. I'm rather sorry you have to hear this. Stop fooling yourself. Shawnee isn't here for you. She's here for Garrett. Why are you doing this, Hunter? Um, oh, by the way, we're here because Vladimir is supposed to have a good time. He wants us to succeed, don't you? That's my brother. I loved him. The question is, were you as dear to him as he seems to have been to you? He made a hero of me in death. In my last battle, in truth, I was far from valiant. Five came at me. I'll not deny it, I fled. I hid in a cellar, yet they found me, cornered me like a rat. But Olgear told everyone I flew at all five, took them on all at once, alone. I'm rather curious how you know all this. Olgear visits my grave, often, pours a drink for me, gets soused himself, and talks of the old times. He cannot see me, but I hear his every word. Hmm. Well, perhaps one day he'll say something very surprising. What are you getting yeah. at? Confess that I he was the one who sent the five. Have a splendid no? time, for time is... time is short. Shani, I'm sorry. I... It's all right. That was... forget him. We're here to enjoy ourselves, right? Let's go. The night's still young. All lies, not a word of truth. Don't let it go. Old Geard was not just my brother. He was my best mate. What are you doing up here? Talking about here, Shani, darling. Oh, you shan't believe what's happened. I'm marrying off my only daughter. Wanted a proper wedding for her. Wild revelry. So I hired a true fire eater. You know, who scoop, sizzle, sizzle. Ooh, I've not seen that sort of trickery. Horribly dear. Diversions of that sort. He journeyed here from Novigrad. <laughs> That'll not squeeze coppers on my daughter. Oh no. The groom's family have us for paupers. We'll show them how wrong they are. Seems we won't, in fact, for our fire swallowers has gone as last Yule's pudding. Groom's hound chased him off. That blasted demon. Ugh, they sure named it right. Calm yourself, Dumpling. Master Witcher's here now. <laughs> he can aid yes, perhaps, us. indeed. Before I can begin my witcherly investigation, I require guidance, clues. Tell me all you know, everything. Well, the Fire Eater arrived around noon, ate his fill of food, not fire, and went for a stroll to air some gases, he said. That horrid demon saw him and started barking like a thing possessed. Why so? Haven't a clue. Didn't like the man, sent something awry. Perhaps that the man swallowed fire. Animals fear fire. If I feared, it would have fled, not given chase. Damn Ooh. dog. How could you know? But it snapped its chain and chased the fire eater into the woods. Foolish or not, it's our son-in-law's beloved pet. They'll be hell to pay if it goes missing. You needn't worry. Then we will find it, I guess. I will find this swallower of heated things. Mighty generous offer, but no one knows where to look. Matters not. Witchers, that is, we have our ways. The flame go burn. What did he look like? He wore a jester's cap, 
typical sort. Ought to be enough to identify him. I shall find him. With I believe you. <laughs> for the best. Uh, awfully nice of you to offer your help, but are you sure you're up to it? You're not actually a witcher, Vladimir. I wish to find this magician. Give it a go, all right? But you cannot help me. I must do it alone. I expect it will be great fun. Ah, <sighs> fine. Don't have to do this, but if I were you, I'd find the dog's tracks, follow its trail. Just a thought. Yeah, that's enough. Excellent advice. No I'll more it. tips here. Shani, Vladimir and I need to find the Fire Eater. If we're not back by midnight, then... Relax. We'll be back in no time. I believe in you. Tally-ho. Adventure awaits. <laughs> oh. He does have kind of an infectious uh, optimism. Yes. Chill. A bone not so clean. I've only ever seen two like this. One in an antel. The other it's when I caught his chin after not trying to devour its bowl along with its supper. Daft mutt. The hound tore its chain off the wall. Underfed it seems. Or else the ash liquor really boiled the mutt's blood. The dog made these tracks true. But a small one. Yet judging by its house, demon is a hulk. But beggars can't choose their tracks. Following so I shall some follow dog's these. frail? Not exactly how I imagined this wedding. I think I'll wait here. Wonderful, my juicy pair. I shall continue my travails while you rest. Shan't be long now. What's this? A broken branch. As if one too heavy sought to scamper up this tree. Seems our fire eater swallows a great deal more than fire. Or perhaps someone was merely gathering kindling. Ah, there is joy in this ferreting. A spark spitter's cap if ever I've seen one. As jesterly as they come. Chap must have lost it running from demon. Two conclusions then. Our magician is fat and a coward. Yeah, we're getting there. Here we go. Missing man, missing mutt. Am I seeing this right? That gammy puss ran up a tree to escape that puppy. Guess so. You, get down. Oh no, no bloody chance. I value my life. What do we do? Sit. <laughs> Convenient. Now that is power. If I'd had that, the Horsons never would have gutted me. Make it do some folly. Roll about on the ground. That sort of sport. No. Oh, could you be any more of a bore? I'll do it myself. Roll over. Were I to command it to eat its own tail, it would do so, right? Demon, no. doghouse, now. Now what have you done? Why ever? Ruin my fun! Oh, you wanted to torture the dog? At the wedding. No, dude. Climb down. Man-eating beast's gone, as you can see. You sure it won't return? Positive. Better safe than sorry, I always say. Geralt, this jester is drunk as a skunk. I hope he's not polished off that bottle yet. I saved your life, man. Do you not at least owe me a sip? Course. Bottoms up. What's he drinking? I say, cracking good mead. Now I understand why you wanted some private time with it. Fine mead, true. But I was fleeing a hound. Hound? <laughs> it, it 
was a monster. <laughs> no, it wasn't a monster. Devil. They chose a fitting name for it. Your cap, sir, lost it running from that pup like a gutless coward. Oh, my dearest cap. Always brought me good luck, it has. <laughs> I'll wear it oh, for every Lord. performance. You can forget about performing in your state. You and just sure about that? what state would that be? Look at yourself, man. You're a tramp. You can barely stand, let alone perform. First off, that's bollocks. Second, I'm a fire eater, not a stilt walker. Standing straight ain't a requirement. Yeah. Oh, you shan't pull the wool over my eyes. I know your type. Now, here's the plan. We shall head down this path till we arrive at the wedding. You'll have sobered by then. But... Silence. Do you know me, sir? When a nobleman speaks, you listen. You will stay close at my side. We will return to the wedding where you will put on a show to make our honored guests soil their breeches from joy. Got it? Y yes. Good. Then let's be off. I'm guessing the other Cold alternative. Close. I shan't say a step. Wild animals behind every stump in these woods. Gags! Bear! Bear? That? As much as your cock's a tentful. Hide, you blind fool. Can you stop running around in a crazy circle? Yes, 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 yes. Let's just get through it. Ouch. Good. Tell me, are bears often boar shaped in your experience? Got weak eyes, see. <coughs> and also, he's a city person. Not some damn naturalist. Indeed, you are right. not. Right, he was from Novigrad. Uh, believe I failed to ask. What do they call you? David Altersborough. Listen here, Master Hattonsboro. Stay close, and no harm will come to you. I'll see to it your drunken, fire-spitting gob gets to the wedding safe and sound. The missing fire blower is missing no more. It was my doing, if I may say so myself. And did well done. <laughs> what's with him? He failed to return. No, he did. He's just acting mighty strange. Seems to be in a muddle of sorts. Got as much life in him as a carrot. Might have oh, he'll... some night shift. He'll get better. Your attention, please. I invite all to witness the spectacle unrivaled. A man He's a bit so uh, fussy because of the eat uh, because of the sign, but it will wear off. We must watch the trickery. Never saw anything like it while alive. Shawnee. Falling for this guy, huh? Because it's like it's like a better version of Geralt. My first Witcher contract to her mind. Done. Fire eater found his ass saved. If I could live again, I'd be a Witcher. Damn, sir. I never say no to a lady. 
to your fair beauty and to yours, Shani, naturally. Your elf and <laughs> naturally. <laughs> smile upon your white wolf. <laughs> Of all these flowers, you, my dear, are the loveliest. Believe the young man's mistaken for another. Not at all. I like my Not at all. I like my peaches. Fuzzy and well -right. That's enough. Get going. Drunken Randy. Nothing good's ever come of that mix. <laughs> oh, good lord. I guess we're doing this. What sport is this? Blustering about after pigs, are you? Lads are racing to be crowned king of the swineherds and win the prize that comes with it for their wench. Um, lady, me. And the rules? One must be a swineherd's son to enter, I suppose. Nay, any man can try his luck. All you need is to herd the piggies dabbed in yellow into the pen. Okay, let's do Sounds it. Like damned foolish nonsense. But why not give it a try? We'd be honored. Get that cripple out of there. <laughs> Could chase his own wench into a bed, let alone a pig into a pen. Let the witcher give it a run. Shame there's no painter here. It's a moment worth immortalizing for posterity. Watch my movement, Shani. I'm spry as a cat and sly as a fox. I'll show these imbeciles how one chases a porker. How do I... Come on, piggy. Got a nice and cozy pen. How do I affect them? You see that, Shani? One big pen. There we go, I guess. You foolish peasants. Learned a lesson from your better. Are the pigs penned? Indeed they are. Master Witcher, we ain't seen such pig chasing skin in a long time. <laughs> your family had an apple uh, pen, didn't they? Go on, admit it. My I, I had no idea what I was doing. The first one just that was just an accident. Means I had any practice chasing pigs. However it were, the crown's going to a good man. And the king's chosen maid deserves a fitting favor. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy a pig. Just don't go home. Oh. <laughs> Brandish it on your horse so that all folk may see. What do you say to that, Shani? Never witnessed such agility. <laughs> You're clearly a natural at chasing pigs through muck. You were a joy to watch. Does my heart's captor like the uh, prize I won for her? The rag stuffed piggy? <laughs> it's lovely, truly. I've always <laughs> been the only one. Oh. This is going a bit too well, Shani. What's the key with you? What do you mean? I'm on the prowl, that's clear. In Geralt's name and flesh, of course. But still, yet the more I woo you, the less you seem ready to succumb. So I ask myself, what am I missing? Mm, perhaps you're just not my type. Considered that? Rubbish. I'm every lass's type. Is that so? Prove it. With pleasure. Show me a lass, and I'll have her eating out of my hand in the blink of an eye. Uh, that one. With the garland. Splendid choice. Now observe as Vladimir von Everett does his thing. Now, who have we here? Do I know you? That's the crux of it. We've not met. I've had to endure half a lifetime without you. An entire lifetime, more like. Hey, you be quiet. <laughs> don't, don't interfere. Sabotage me, Shani. That would not be fair. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll stay out of your way. <laughs> My sweet. 
sweet. You are no mere maid, but a marvel of nature. And now, at last, fate knocks at your door. But I, well, don't know right. <laughs> you Very effective. know anything. I know it all for us both. I shall make a true lady of you. Arm in arm, we'll grace the finest salons. Salons? Really? Actual salons? In Novigrad? And how... <laughs> In Novigrad, Oxenfurt, why in Kovir as well, wherever you wish. Let's make haste to the barn. There, everything <laughs> will be made clear. Leslie, step away from the man. Who the devils are you? Oh, time for a fist fight. And we swore to our down his dying day, we'd keep those of your ilk far from her. You shan't keep me from anything, filthy hayseed. Lads, mutants calling us names. Stand down, swine. Here we go. Or Lord Witcher will give you a bloody mighty drubbing. Now, where's a plowing fence board when you need it? Show us what you got. Hot damn, boy. You needn't ask me twice. Boards, the perfect weapon for sweaty ass superheroes. Perfect fit for your job, you plowing gentle fuck. I'd very much prefer if I could get rid of one of them. Whoops, I Step up. wasn't looking at the screen. Shave. Damned cretin cream to me. Embarrassing to take a living from a boar. And with a maiden watching. Here we go. Had enough peasant spawn. Got yourself a match for a von ever a, a witcher. <laughs> Away with you. Be gone. I've tired of looking at your slack jaw. Yes. Where to, my love? I was to turn you into a lady. Don't. You must explain I was not at fault. They lunged at me. Well, go on, chase her. In your dreams. There it is. You fucked up. She's gone. Is that how you woo the ladies? You always that charming in life? It worked. More often than not. Listen, tongue and fists on a leash from now on. Have your fun, but don't beat the wedding guests. With my hands. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I shall Fine. try. Uh-oh. Shani approaches. Unlikely to be happy, eh? You made this mess. You do the explaining. Oh. All right. Your methods, quite unusual, to woo a woman by beating up her brothers. Well, the, the beating was after the wooing. What else you have up your sleeve? <laughs> my dear girl, what don't I have up my sleeve? I'd gladly demonstrate. Perhaps behind the barn? Uh, I think you've demonstrated enough. Let's just enjoy ourselves, all right? You don't have all that much time left. Your wish is my command, m'lady. I'd never deny a maid so <laughs> fair. <M'lady? laughs> Off we go. Mm. Ah, so good to shake the kings from those bones. We must find more, more fun. No, the fun is over. I'll leave you for a moment. Oh. As a bridesmaid, I need to be by the bride of the captain. Go on, Shani. I'll manage fine alone. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this night I've tasted of life's delights. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I've decided to make a speech. Geralt, 
There's no need. No, we will. No need? Why, there's every need. <clears throat> Till now, I'd always considered peasant jollities unworthy of a gentleman. Oh no, dude, you, I thought you were going to say something nice. Rub shoulders with swineherds in horn and noble. I delighted in the beauty of buxom farm wenches, of course, and indeed still do. Given more time, I'd prove this to each and every I mean, the, but the important part here is not for Shani to have a good time, it's for... Never took any note of Vladimir to have a good time, right? ...room my mounts. They did this well, but were never worthy of conversation. Nay, not even if you paid me. For one must live by certain principles, am I right? But this day, this day has changed all. Beneath the muck and dung, a peasant is a man. I understand this, thanks to you. You've still shite all to talk about, but I don't mind anymore. For this, I thank you and say, you are well loved. It's almost midnight. Time for the cafe. Wait, I'm not done. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> Oh, yes, you are. Well, I mean, too, Shani. Midnight chime has struck. The capping times are come. What's the what capping? And young hearts prance. What dreams make young blood run. Be they nice, be they vice. Of jesterly or lordly stance. Out they'll come in this hour's dance. Toast the lovely couple, then give them a few weeks. And we'll toast the lovely pair with each pair of coffee cheeks. Few weeks? You need more than a few weeks for a baby. We sing so we can empty at another sign. Rides will hold the eternal, ride will best be there. Or she'll make you a purple in the coffee here. Oh, that's the cap. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Writing a contract in blood? What the heck is going on? That really necessary. It came rushing back in a torrent. How we caroused at Old Geard's wedding. I couldn't resist. Had to pet a few words. Will you give him the letter? I will. Yeah, that's our proof. You're a good chap, Witcher. That was dirt, but good. A lovely custom. Blushing maids twirling in dance. Their hair swirling freely. Their bodices undone. Their bouncing... Yeah, what? <laughs> bouncing what? Did you see it? <laughs> Shani caught the garland. She'll be next to marry as peasant superstition has it. Maybe. Doesn't matter. It's past midnight. Time for you to go back to the crypt. I can't! I'm not finished here. Is Vladimir's ghost gone? You see? She asks after me. Misses me already. I'm here, my ever-loving tulip. That kiss as we danced made my head so light. A team of hellish stallions could not tear me away before I receive one more. Or two more. Or as many as you'll give. But you seem to have enjoyed yourself. I'm glad. A kiss. I knew it would end this way. An end that is but a beginning. No, it's just an end. It's after midnight. 
Your time has come. Ah, uh, we needn't fret such trifles. Death's not come to claw me back, so why not continue our revels? What's Geralt think about that? You gave your word. Shani, darling, I'm dead. Can't expect too much from a corpse. Vladimir von Everick, go back whence you came. Please. Stay this dude this. just shows up. <laughs> You stop! Get ye hence, or I'll take you with me, and your moldy crypt will look like paradise. And <laughs> yeah, I'll take you with me to hell, Choice where I belong. Don't torture him. I promise he'll not die. <laughs> oh, because he's already dead. Gods, what is this? What did you do to him? Sent him back whence he came. I hope you didn't hurt him. I disposed of a pest. There was no need for you to suffer his cheek any longer. Geralt had finished his task, you see, so... Yes, I know. As soon as he finishes one task, he needs to rush off to the next. Who knows? Perhaps this time will be different. I no, it won't other. be. And it just so happens, I also know the history you share. You do? How? Shani, darling, would you ask an eagle how it knows how to fly? Regardless, what matters is Vladimir von Everett will bother you no more. Yeah, you got what you wanted. I'll stay a little bit. I'd like to stay longer, but... Don't make excuses, Geralt. I'm not angry. A witcher has to ply his trade. Follow his path. As for me, well... Perhaps I expected too much of this wedding. Got the wrong impression. I'm not sure I understand. Maybe? Never mind. I should find Eldona. I am her bridesmaid, after all. Mm. Ah, there it is. The face of a man who's failed to understand a woman. You understand her? Of course. Women are simple. The problem is that men are hopeless fools. Your yeah, friend will now make a show of being hurt. Pick her some flowers, or bring her a drink. She'll get over it in a snap. Rather manage without your advice, thank you. She cares for you. You have feelings for her. Don't overthink it. Surrender to spontaneous honesty. Nothing more beautiful in human relationships. You needn't end like Aldona and Jonas. Besotted fools bound by a contract they'll never escape. No, oh, so you're suggesting a one-night stand? Seize your chance. Enjoy one another. That's it. Have fun. Actually, we'll do that next time, I think. Uh, finish this up, because I think this is basically done right. We just uh, gotta close off the night and then be off to our next thing. But that is uh, for a different day. I think I'm done for now. Uh, this was fun. This was good fun, though. A very nice quest. Um, yeah. Ah, this Gaunter dude, Gaunter Odim, I'm so... <sighs> he is very suspicious. I don't like him. But that makes him very interesting. So, Anyways, that is it for today. I thank you very much for joining me, and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, however, do take care of yourselves, and peace out.